Child is an hour over the speed limit. Police say that's how fast a woman may have been driving when she crashed and killed another driver. Tonight, the victim's family is remembering the 22 year old and calling for an end to that deadly trend on our roads. Fox 5's Drew Andre joins us after speaking to the victim's family and what's being done to make changes across the state. Well, we were out here Friday night. Now we've returned to where this crash happened. Driving down Bonanza, the speed limit is 35. Police believe that the driver at fault was traveling over 80 miles per hour when she hit 22-year-old William Alvarado. He was rushed to UMC but did not survive. Singing, crying, and celebrating the life of 22-year-old William Alvarado. He was funny, he was outgoing, he was, he was never shy. He left too soon, he was just 22 years old, and he was my baby brother. Described as a warm soul, William was on his way to his girlfriend's house Friday night when he was struck by the speeding driver in the Mercedes. Police say his BMW spun 167 feet down Bonanza. No merecía morir así. He didn't deserve to die like that. That was supposed to be her first, not him. Yet another family fractured from a crash on our roads. As we've reported, last year alone, 382 people were killed on Nevada roadways, the highest in 15 years. Taken, it's really increased during COVID and it's staying increased. It's not going down to 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 what it was before. So I think there's a real opportunity to see if we can make some legislative changes. And just last week, the UNLV School of Medicine Department of Surgery was awarded over $400,000 in a grant to increase its research into traffic related injuries in our state. We, we need to understand it better. We need to figure out ways to intervene. Maybe we need to be tougher. Is there something that we can do about the physical environment? You know, flashing lights, more stoplights, different change in the speed limit. Data is collected from all four trauma centers in the state, mixed with on-scene investigators' information, all to compile comprehensive information that can identify problematic roadways or specific trends on the road, like impairment or speeding, to then determine where to put the outreach efforts. Alvarez's mom and sister send a simple message that they wish they never had to say. De la velocidad. To drive safe and don't be um, driving crazy. It happened to me. It could be you. According to the arrest report, the driver at fault could face reckless driving causing death charges. Now, in the short term, Dr. Cool says that they're hoping they can take this data to the state legislature in hopes that lawmakers can make some changes when it comes to laws having to do with traffic safety. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.